You know, I'm, I'm feeling kind of confused. Last week was Pentecost, right? We, we remembered how the Holy Spirit showed up, all wind and flames and people speaking in other languages. What a story, so full of weird drama. Yeah, yeah. And so, so this week is Trinity Sunday. Uh, I guess like after the Holy Spirit arrived, God and Jesus were like, hey, you're so great, all fire and wind, be our friend. And Holy Spirit was like, cool, I'm in. And then they were like a squad, Trinity Sunday, woohoo. Well. But that feels like a big fun story that isn't very important for real life. So God is Father, Son, Spirit. So, so what? There's a whole lot in the questions that you are asking. I'm glad you are thinking about this. You know, as Christians, we believe that the Trinity is God and was and will be God. There are three persons in the Trinity, and they are all one, all at the same time. It's okay if that seems mysterious, because it, it is mysterious. It's one of the great mysteries of faith. Right. And, and I have learned that I I don't have to answer all the faith questions as though like I'm taking a math quiz. I, I can let some ideas kind of sit there and be beautiful without having to figure them out. Great, yes. But it's also okay to keep wondering and asking the questions, you know? Why is the idea of Trinity important? Uh, there may be lots of answers, but, but one thought is that the idea of Trinity can help us connect to the life and love of God. God, the Father, the Creator, made us and everything to be good. God, the Son, the Christ, lived with us and knew us because he was human, and he, he suffered for us and suffered with us. Mm -hmm. and, and God, the Holy Spirit, the Comforter, is within us and it inspires us to act in the ways the creator created us to act and and to love in the ways that christ loved us thinking about god as trinity keeps god very real and close to our actual lives hmm. when you talk like that uh, i think god fills up everything in life like life is about god life is about god and when you start thinking that way, it kind of shifts around your priorities. It makes creation extra amazing. And it also makes me realize my responsibility toward the earth and the plants and animals and natural spaces. Right. And think about people, all those beloved children of God. We have a responsibility to seek justice and resist oppression and act in loving ways because God is in us and God is love. You know what? For Compassion Camp VBS, the tagline is be loved, be kind, be you. God loves me. I'll act on that love. And that makes me completely myself. Three things that work together. That is good enough takeaway from this conversation. On this Trinity Sunday, may you be inspired to be loved, be kind, and be you.